all of us as people of faith probably face the question of getting so worked up, so focused on what's going wrong in my life, that big project I have at work, maybe my mother just got a bad diagnosis, etc., etc. And it often feels like we're wearing blinders, that all I can focus on is what I'm worried about, what I'm anxious about, what I'm praying about, that I feel like it's a black hole that's just sucking me in to a very dark place. I don't think I'm the only one who's ever experienced that. And it's at times like that where we often are looking for a lifeline. How do I pull myself out of that dark place? How do I pull myself out of the worry? How do I sleep through the night? How do I get rid of that feeling in the pit of my stomach? And I think this is where we need to remember the power of praise and thanksgiving. That it's in the midst of the darkness when I am just so focused on what's wrong that I need to stop, pull off the blinders, and give thanks for the gifts of my life. It can be the beauty of a sunset. It can be a beautiful rose I pass in someone's yard, etc. And also just giving praise for all the good things God has done in the past. Maybe I'm struggling to see God's goodness right now because I'm worried about this. But by recalling God's goodness in the past, it helps me remember that God is a faithful God. He's not going to let me down. And even though this might not turn out the way I'd like, God's goodness and love never changes. So next time we find ourselves with the blinders on, just focused on the bad, let's remember to stop, give thanks, and to give gratitude for God's mercies in the past, those same mercies that we trust in right now. Not that homily or sermon you might be expecting, but just that little jolt of faith sometimes we all may need.